Hi brothers and sisters, I hope you are doing well today. My name is Pamela, for anybody who is new. I just wanted to come on here kind of quickly and share with you a dream that I had yesterday morning. Um, I did have a dream this morning, but I'm still praying for interpretation. I had numbers, three numbers in my dream, but um, I haven't quite been able to interpret everything. I went to the Lord. I just got out of my prayer closet and the only thing, I don't know, the only thing I think I'm getting from my dream from this morning is uh, time is time is late or um, I don't know. So anyways, I had a dream yesterday and this dream was specifically for me, but we're all in the body of Christ. So when you are in Christ, you are his child and what he does for me, he's going to do for you. So this is why I'm sharing it with you. Because this dream won't only be for me, but it'd be for you. Okay? Because there's no favorites. God doesn't show favor. He doesn't show, he doesn't have favorites of his children. So yesterday I was um, in the dream. I was walking down the road in the city that I'm from. And um, there was other people, several people walking on both sides of the road. And it was like a busier road because it was like downtown area. And I was, um, a bus had pulled up across the street. And so I was going to, I was thinking, well, I think I'm going to go and jump on the bus and I'll just go ride the bus where I need to go. And then I remembered that I didn't have any money. I decided I was going to cross the road anyway, so I had to wait for some cars. And it wasn't only me crossing the road, like both sides. There was there was people crossing both sides. There was people from my side that was going to go catch the bus and uh, as well. And I began crossing the street. And as I was crossing the street, in front of me appeared, it's like a handful of coins on the, on the ground, on the cement. And it was like, they weren't just like quarters, nickels, dimes, like, regular size they were like humongous and you will see uh, the thumbnail from this video but that's the size that they were and I wasn't sure in the dream how much it cost to ride the bus but I was thinking that it was like you know like I don't know probably like 55 cents or 75 cents as opposed to, I haven't rode the bus I don't think I ever rode the bus when I lived in the city because I always had a vehicle and so I don't for sure know how much it costs, but I knew that the coins that I had in my hand, it was not only enough for me to ride the bus, but it was enough for me, it was like more than enough. It was enough money for me to ride the bus and do anything else that I needed to do. So I knew that it was an abundant amount of money that was in my hand from this change. And so um, yesterday, I didn't really understand what that meant. I was like trying to gather up the rest of the dream and really trying to think of it. But when I went in to get into my prayer closet, it's funny because I didn't even get in my prayer closet yet to really seek the Lord on this. But I thought about it for a quick second. And then the Lord said, um, I will provide. I will provide for every one of your needs and not only provide for your needs, but a, uh, provide an abundance. And so the Lord... <laughs> And I took, quickly interpret it, and I was like, yeah, okay, because the change wasn't even just enough to ride the bus, but it was more than enough. So the Lord was saying, not only will he provide for me, he said, to say it to all of you guys who are waiting on the Lord, maybe there's things getting ready to come up, and you don't know how you're going to be able to afford it. I just want to say to you, you know, to rest in God's word, because he promises he's our provider, and that he takes care of all of our needs. And that's the one thing that he showed me. Me and as I was, I was talking to my husband about it today, and I was telling him about my dream yesterday and how the Lord interpreted it quickly. But you know, the Lord's gonna provide for us and not only provide for us, but provide in abundance, and that's how He is with His children. And He will use us to bless other people. So, if He provides you with an abundance, somebody comes along and needs something, that's your opportunity to be able to bless them too. So, I wanted to share that with you. You know, I've been very blessed in my life. Uh, I was a single mom for 16 years. I raised two children alone. And uh, the Lord provided every one of my needs. And that's something that he was 
showing me yesterday, I mean, even when I was young and had to go get a car and my car payment is, I think it was like $75 a week or something was my first car, car payment. And I lived on a server job and the Lord made sure that every one of my bills were taken care of. He really worked with me on faith and trusting him. And then um, many of you who have been with me for a while may have, you know, heard the story of faith that the Lord took me on and he had me quit my job and uh, to learn to trust him. And he showed up. He showed up. He showed up in so many ways. You know, he gave me a confirmation of three because I asked for two or three witnesses before I quit my job. And uh, some of you know, but some of you don't. I, my third confirmation, I went to a church I'd never been to, and the pastor stood up. He was starting to preach a sermon. All of a sudden, he stopped and said, somebody here is working a job that God told you to quit. And sure enough, I went in the next day and put a four-week notice in. So I quit that job. And then I lived on faith for, I think that was like uh, May was, I was out of that job. So June, July, and then August, uh, the Lord provided. People would just come to me and say, the Lord told me to give this to you. I had one of my good friends at the time was um, cutting hair, and she would just bring me by her tips. The Lord told her to just bring me her tips from cutting hair, and she did that for, I don't even know, a while. And then, uh, what was that, 4th of July that, that year, I prayed that the Lord would provide gas money so that I could go see my family for the 4th of July because we would get together and as I see my family once a year up at my dad's. And uh, one of my friends showed up. I didn't even tell them I wanted gas. I just gave it to the Lord. One of my friends showed up and said, hey, the Lord told me to go fill your gas tank. She filled my gas tank. And, um, and then in August, uh, I had a pastor friend of mine called me and said, hey, I want you to pray about moving into this house that I have, which I was managing for a short period of time. Um, she was open. It was a house that was opening for women who wanted to grow in a relationship with the Lord. And um, I was kind of managing it. So when women would come in, I would sit down with them and get their information and, and stuff like that, just minister to them and and I was doing that, and then pastor had asked me if I would come and move into the home. And so it turned from me moving in, it turned from me managing the home to moving into the home, which was really difficult for me because uh, I went from managing to being a tenant. And uh, I didn't get to manage it anymore. I had to live there and follow the rules like everybody else. It was just... That was difficult, but at the same time, I know the Lord was Oops, my phone's falling. And so, when I was in there, um, one day I was sitting down and, you know, I was in a meeting and this woman I looked up to was like, how long do you think the Lord's going to have you here? And he said, I don't know, at, at that time I just really had a feeling that I wouldn't have to go looking um, that the Lord will provide one for me. And so I told her that. And uh, sure enough, it was that was the meeting in November. Uh, I had moved into that place in August. The meeting she had with me was in November. And then um, right before income tax season, I had went to my old apartment that I had moved out of and went to go get my W-2s. And the next door neighbor had approached me about the house that was on the other side. So, um, long story short, the Lord brought me a house. I didn't, the guy approached me and I ended up able to get that house. He told me to call the guy and to get the house, um, you know, for myself because, uh, he was ended up having some ish health issues. So I ended up getting this two story, two unit house, full basement for $6,500 because it was in, it went up for auction or something like that. And uh, a realtor had bought it and realized it was going to be a little bit more work than what he was really wanting. So he went and sold it for the price that he got it for. So I got it for $6,500. And so, you know, I used my tax money to, um, you know, put a big down, down payment on it. And then he let me pay, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month until I paid it off. 
And so the Lord blessed me with that and just, you know, he's always provided and took care of me. So he, but he did that, that year. He did, um, send me to a job in September, September 16th of 2012. So August, he moved me out and, uh, September he gave me a job, uh, which was, uh, working third shift in the women's domestic violence shelter. So the dreams that I have where I'm working in the shelter or I'm in the shelter myself, it's a women's domestic violence shelter. And that's when he put me in there it was in 2012. Little did I know even today, he would continue using that job to speak into my life. And so, um, He's been there. He has definitely been there, and he's worked with me on my faith, and I just always had that that faith like a child, knowing that I can trust in him, and he would provide and take care of all my needs. And so I've always took the Lord at his word. If I read the word and he says he can do it, I've always trusted him in that. Even, when, even other Christians have told me that, you know, with the Lord, put these people here to help with this, or that's not the way that I looked at it. You know, that's even had other people, you know, Christians, um, try to tell me I'm wrong in my faith sometimes because my faith is really strong. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you because I know the Lord was just reminding me, you know, I, in my marriage, I'm, I'm more of the saver. I like to, you know, make sure that I have money in the account, not a whole lot of money. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but you know, I don't like to spend every dime that we get and then can't do anything till the next paycheck comes in and my husband is a spender and he's always getting something new and my trees are white out there because he's spending stuff on them to protect them because last year these are plum trees and peach trees and pear trees and last year we had plum curlio bugs on them and um, they burrow in the fruit when the fruit starts producing so it's a little tiny like the, the size of a uh, dime and they barrel it, they barrel their larvae in it, and the larvae goes down and actually kills the fruit and it falls off the tree. And last year we didn't get any because of them bugs. So my husband goes out every single morning, shakes the trees, see if any fruit falls, and see if any uh, prom curios fall out of the tree, and then he sprays them because uh, I guess it's a nasty taste when they bite into them. So we just, I mean, they're not as bad as I guess they were as they were last year. So. Anyways, that's why our trees are white. It looks like they're, actually, I think they just kind of look like they're flowered, but they're not flowered. It's a white, chalky type substance. It's, it's organic for our trees to make it to where we can eat the fruit <laughs> and not lose it. So, I hope that my dream blessed you. I'm going to continue praying about the dream that I had. Like I said, all I know about that dream is that um, I had some numbers in it. So... I am going to continue to pray. I think uh, it's late in the hour. That's just the only thing that I get. So there was just so much detail. So I will uh, continue to pray about it. And I don't know, even if the Lord doesn't interpret it, maybe I'll just end up putting a, a video out so that you guys can hear it. And then maybe if somebody has the gift of interpretation, then maybe you can help me out with it. But all right. Uh, God bless you. Please seek the Lord and pray that you may be accounted worthy to escape all that is about to happen so you can stand before the Son of Man. God bless you. Until next time.